what's good josh boy ross back out again with another video so we have an interesting topic to talk about today uh some of you guys sent it to me on instagram and uh, i definitely wanted to make a video about it because i definitely wanted to give my opinions on if this is a good idea or not and have that conversation with you guys as well so we're gonna check this out we're gonna get straight into it man uh this is on twitter by wrestle ops um wwe ceo nick khan today discussed the idea of wwe being open to a third hour of smackdown bad or good idea once again this is on wrestle ops on twitter um take this with a grain of salt as well we don't know how true this is but um this is one of those things where it's like i don't know i, I i'm 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 initial thoughts when i hear smackdown three hours initially i'm like no i don't want to see that mainly because i think that's the main problem with monday night raw granted we know why raw is three hours because apparently that third hour that's where they get the most ad revenue money so they make a lot of money in that third hour but it's just it's just a drag it is a three-hour show every week is it's just tough to really maintain someone's interest for three hours long every single week i'm just i'm just being honest with you the two hour spot is always in my opinion been that good slot to get some good storytelling some good wrestling involved and you know you know you can really kind of work with that granted this is why they have raw and smackdown uh, to you know pretty much you know you, you get a chance to see people that you may not be able to see on monday night raw because there's not enough time so they may be on smackdown and that way you have a, a chance to see them hence that's why smackdown was created in the first place because they just didn't have enough time to get everyone on the show so now you can put people on another show give them opportunity to get seen by the fans and go from there the problem that comes with adding an extra hour to smackdown in my opinion it's just it's wrestling fatigue it is one of the positive things about smackdown even if the show is not good on that particular episode is the fact that it's two hours you guys notice it when we're streaming when we're streaming the shows on smackdown it goes by it just seems like it goes by quicker because you don't have that third hour to worry about they get straight to the point there's not a lot of time to BS. You got to get in and get out. Tell what story you're trying to tell. Get some matches that you're trying to get out. And then that's it. We're on to the next segment. We're raw. It's like they have an opportunity. They have a little bit more leeway to take their time with segments that they really shouldn't. There's a lot of filler on Monday Night Raw. So when we're streaming it's it, on SmackDown. It's just it seems more like a breeze. We get right in, right out. You have the rest of your night to do whatever you want to do afterwards it's you know our time central standard time is from seven to nine so we got the rest of our night to start up the weekend do what we got to do you know but we were able to see the show you know and it just it's more digestible but on monday night raws man not gonna lie to you it may be a couple great segments and then it just you start to feel especially if it's a raw there's nothing happening on you start to feel how long the show is it gets to the point a lot of times where we're talking about other things. We're actually kind of potty, potting with you guys. We're talking about other stuff. We're watching other shows while watching Raw. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, it, it gets it gets tiresome. And wrestling fatigue is a thing. There's, you know, if you're someone that loves wrestling, you can get tired of watching so much of it every single week. So if this is to, if this is to be true, if this is what they want to do, now you add another hour to smackdown so now smackdown doesn't end till 10 central standard time and it's just one of those things where yeah maybe you get more wrestlers on the show but at the same time it for me personally i just think it doesn't need to be that long i i, I don't think you need to have a weekly wrestling show for three hours every single week on and then not including maybe the pay-per-views once a month you know once every other month but most of the time for WWE schedule, it's like once a month. So you got to account for those, you know, then you, you know, if you're really just into the wrestling, you know, 
wrestling scene like that, not just WWE. Say you want to watch Monday Night Raw, that's three hours of wrestling. Then you want to watch NXT, that's two hours of wrestling. Then you want to watch Dynamite, that's two hours of wrestling. Then you want to watch, um, I don't know, whatever. You know, I don't know if uh, what comes on on Thursdays. I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything on Thursday. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then you want to, you know, here comes, you know, Friday. And that's another three hours of wrestling. And then I don't know if they're still going to have Rampage. I don't know if anyone wants to watch Rampage. But Rampage comes on after, you know, uh, uh, SmackDown. So that's another two hours. Granted, now that what they're doing, if they're trying to do this, uh, SmackDown would kind of cut into Rampage. So that could be a business move on why they would do that. Because I believe Rampage starts right after SmackDown. And then apparently, you know, we got AEW Collision on Saturday. So that's another two hours. That is a lot of wrestling. If you like wrestling that much and you want to watch both companies, you know, not that's just an extreme, but I'm just putting it in perspective. Adding that third hour, just in my opinion, is overkill just on the WWE product side of things. If we had a, a chance to drop Raw to two hours, I think a lot of us would. And I think it would just, once again, it will force people, it will force the, the writers, it will force Vince McMahon and Triple H, it will force them to literally make sure the show is like this everything that's on the show is is meant to be seen no filler we don't have time for filler because you don't have that much time you have to get in and get out and i can appreciate those i can appreciate that on smackdown even if it's not that good and once again this could be a business move to try to hurt aew and and kill that first hour of rampage because you know people are going to still be watching smackdown i don't know if that's the case but nevertheless me personally smackdown is cool where it's at two hours i'm sure they can make a lot more money on that third hour but no smackdown in my opinion is cool on a, as a two-hour show please don't add anything please don't add another hour don't even add another 30 minutes leave it at two hours i think it is serviceable where it is and where it has always been so i want to get y'all opinion on it comment down below would y'all be for a smackdown as a weekly show being three hours or do you guys think it's a little bit too much overkill can cause even more wrestling fatigue than we already have and keep it at two hours i want to get your thoughts and opinions on it because me personally no I'm, I'm good where it's at it's in a sweet spot much more easier to digest me personally and for the homies as well we love it when it's at two hours so but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace